Hello everybody, this is Bud and um, this is a special video because I got a, a, a weird little issue here that I want to resolve and I thought it would be like difficult to, to um, because I don't know really what happened that uh, made this uh, happen. I got this window here uh, that I cannot close. I don't know, uh, it's, it's uh, kind of annoying and it's also a weird window because it got the content of Workspace ONE here. You see, it changes here. If I move it here, no, it's like workspace one is. A, it's really strange, and I cannot kill it because normally I can close windows by uh, clicking uh, the middle mouse button on a, a title bar. And you do that in i3. Uh, you can just uh, do a, this dollar b here that expands to bind sim. You know, so bind sim, um, and then button two kill and you also need this release and and when you bind a mouse button in i3 uh, it will only work on uh, the title bars so that means here for example if i uh, right or middle click the title bar it closes that window so it's a good thing to have but i also most of the time i use the keyboard and i press f4 is my uh, key to to kill a window they do the same thing maybe we should turn on uh, uh, this guy now F4, F4 kill. All right, um, but it doesn't work. I cannot uh, uh, either um, middle click or F4 this guy here. Button two, kill, nothing happens. F4, kill, nothing happens. So I want to solve this. Uh, I want to be able to kill any, any window I want uh, should die when I kill them. I don't like this. It's some kind of a zombie window. And I'm not sure here uh, if I can fix this. I haven't really uh, tried it and yeah, we'll see where, where we go here. But I just remembered that not that long ago I saw uh, like a thread on a forum or something about like uh, cool X applications. And one of those applications were um, Xkill, which I think, um, yeah, let's uh, write the full command here. Maybe also do this and maybe make a little bigger here. Pacman search for xkill. There we have it. Xorg xkill. Kill the client by its x resource. I think this program can kill any window, but I, I, I'm not sure. I have never tried this program. I, I have no idea how this will work here, but sudo pacman s xorg xkill. Yeah. There, now we got that. So is it xkill? There it is. Do we have some help information or something with it? Display, x server to contact ID. Yeah, this is good because then I think we can pass it the window ID. Don't ignore window manager frames. Button number, specific button to be pressed to select window, kill all clients with top level window. Okay, so I think it works like this. Let's open this uh, floating terminal here again and use that as a test here. X kill, and there, look at the cursor, evil death uh, guy. Select the window uh, whose client you wish to kill with button 1. And button 1 is the left mouse button. Button 2 is the middle button. Button 3 is the right click. Just so you know. I want to kill this guy. Yeah, it worked. And it also killed all other uh, URXVT resources. So that wasn't that uh, perfect, really. Yeah. Perfect. Now I cannot start a terminal because I... <laughs> God damn it. Because I'm using URXVT. Um, to be honest, I'm not sure here. Well, I guess we can do. Yeah, we, and we have to make an i3 key binding here. Um, so, Windows key plus uh, 9 execute URXVTD. Uh, I think I have to see in my X resources the command that I uh, X init I mean let's see here 
U R X B T. Where are you? There it is. I use these flags. I don't remember what they do really, but and then we were here. So there. Okay. And then we start I three. Control Shift. Super Control R. Okay. And Super Nine. There, now the URXVT daemon is running, and now we can open a terminal. Okay, Xkill seemed to have worked at least. Uh, but um, maybe uh, uh, terminals weren't the best uh, test for it. Uh, okay, let's take this window then. It's not important, you know, power control, make it floating. So I'm going to see if I can kill this window with passing the ID. Um, uh, let's do this also, get some information up here. Um, class is power control with capital P. So I3 get class power control. Control print D for ID, and we also need double there. So this is the window ID for this window. Let's see here now. X kill help. Yeah, and then the ID option. Here, here's how stupid, you know, long options with just a single dash. I don't like when, when they do this, but they did. So X kill ID this ID there kill and create a resource da 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 okay now let's see if we can get the ID of my weird zombie window here it's not sure that we can do that actually but we'll see Sometimes okay, so the class name is wine and the instance is mtga.exe because I was playing a wine a game through wine here Ma magic arena and It crashes all the time. It's a, it doesn't work properly here on my computer uh, Instance mtga.exe and this I have I've had this window for a couple of days here. It's really very annoying uh, mtga.exe, okay, I3 get Instance uh, mtga.exe print d. Yeah, we got a window ID. Okay, so then x kill here now should work here by passing this ID. Um, but now I'm getting second thoughts here uh, because my intention was, uh, uh, or initially I, I thought I would. Um, want to bind this xkill command uh, to my key binding uh, so I could close windows M middle mouse button would close the windows uh, but using xkill instead and passing the ID because I can get the ID number uh, by uh, from the windows but now I'm not sure I want to do that since it killed like the daemon process and stuff that's that's not um because I have other windows like Thunar here is also running from a daemon process and xkill here would uh, kill the daemon and that is uh, not really what I want, you know. Don't ignore window manager frames. Feels like you want to do that as well, you know. Well, in that case, I guess uh, it's better because this this happens. This doesn't happen often, you know, that you need to do this. Uh, instead of binding this to a key binding or anything, I think I, I just do it like this when I need to do it. You know, I, I execute X kill, select the window I want to kill. There, it's dead. Nice. Yeah, that's better because yeah, it's not good to to. Uh, execute x kill on, on windows you don't want to kill for example the terminal you could see there it was lucky i had uh, sublime and stuff open here so i could create a new panic button here to execute the your xvt daemon otherwise 
you would never get in a terminal because I cannot run anything and I don't have like a D menu run or anything I use this launcher now X launch and it only have this these uh, uh, applications I cannot search for anything else here I cannot launch like URXVT from here I can just launch the applications I have in this list whatever so I'm kind of <laughs> Yeah, th this reminds me that I have to fix these things uh, because I am very dependent on my terminals working. Maybe I should have a panic button to execute a normal URXVT window. This floating guy doesn't really have to be uh, 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 bound to the daemon. It would be okay to launch that as a separate process. I think I will do that. All right, whatever. That's a little video about X-Kill and how you can kill any window and sometimes more windows than you want to kill. So keep that in mind. But if you stumble upon this uh, type of situation, you could use it. Uh, yeah, and uh, as you understand, I cannot just... <laughs> I don't know how to create those zombie windows uh, uh, unintentionally. So I had to make, make the video like this uh, and... There you have it. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye, bye, bye.